Hello planty peeps, welcome to Nisha's Plants. My name is Kanisha, also known as Niche. I assume you're here for all things plants. If that's the case, hit that bell button and subscribe. To all my new subscribers, welcome. It's great to have you here. Feel free to get involved. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Say hi to everybody. So today's video is a rare houseplant unboxing specifically an anthurium unboxing so just to know there's a few kind of things about this this plant in particular um it's been flagged a few years ago as being enlisted as an endangered plant simply because it of the destruction of its habitat it's also been known that some people have poached this plant which obviously we do not condone at all just to know in regards to the plant that I have bought and from the source that I have purchased this plant from, the individuals have confirmed that this plant has been grown in a nursery or their nursery, um, so it's not from the wild. So let's get into it. I'm gonna give you some information about the plant, um, where it's from, etc. as I open this box. So it's from southeastern Ecuador and it grows in the mountains kind of overlooking the Amazon basin. So it is from a rainforest, cloud forest. Now, as it grows, it does climb up on other plants. So it's an epiphyte, if I said that correctly, yes. As it, basically, when it's, when it's young, juvenile, it starts as a seedling and it will grow on or near the rainforest floor. And as it grows, its internodes are quite spaced out so that it can kind of reach and find the nearest tree or moss and that's what it climbs up. So as it grows, once it's found its ideal position for light and humidity, it then starts to metamorph um, and the juvenile plants will have two or three leaves or they call them leaf blades um, and then the more mature plants will have three so I don't know if that gives it away another point to note is where it grows so its habitat in the rainforest is in an area called Cordilio de Cutucu I think I've said that right so that might give you a little insight as to what this plant is um all right let's swing this around yeah so it's a beautiful plant it looks a little strange it's a little dinosaur like if you want to put it that way so i'm just trying to get into this and i've wanted it probably for about 10 months now um and saw it and obviously you know all things come to those who wait so here it is. Let me just do this quickly. That's the seller's logo. They are on my Instagram if you want to check them out. Just cute. Um, now I think I've got it from, yeah, here we go. I don't want to pull it. Okay. Oh, look at this. Fancy, fancy. All right, so little babies in here. Literally. Oh, I can see a little bit. Can I? All right. Here we go. It did have a stick in it, which is great. There we are. Anthurium cuticans. Now, just to note, it did have a stick in it, so they did ship it really well, which I'm assuming the stick was actually there. So it would have sat in between it like that to prevent it from falling or being crushed. But this is a really nice box. So here it is. Sorry, I'm gonna take that out. The beauty that is the Anthurium Kudukent. So you can see this is a juvenile form because it's only got two um, leaf blades. The mature form will have three. Um, and as they grow, so like a lot of anthuriums, the next stem will come from this current stem, the base, and grow out from there. But um, that's what they're like. Now, in regards to their care, they like um, high humidity, being in the cloud forest, obviously. Um, temperatures ranging from 15 to 25 degrees, and obviously a lot of airflow, because again, being in the rainforest. Now, because they're epi epi epiphytes, and they're used to growing on trees they they need something to kind of attach to so you could have it in something for instance like an orchid basket or some sort of basket with moss in so that it can kind of grab on and hang as it does so i'll probably much leave it in 
the spag moss for a while. You can see we've got roots there and uh, let it acclimatize to the temperature and, oh yeah, the temperature in, in currently my room because that's why I've got my, my main greenhouse in there. So I let it acclimatize to the house, my room, and then I'll place it in the greenhouse. Um, but this is it. It's beautiful, so delicate. Um, and we'll just take this off so we can have a better look. But I've literally, yeah, I've wanted this plant for like 10, 11 months um, and kind of, it's just always been on my wish list. I wasn't sure if I was really going to get it because not many people have it. Oh, we've got a new leaf coming as well, amazing. Um, so, yeah, so you see there would have been a stem there, that's obviously been cut off. So that's my Anthurium Kutu Kents. Um, I'm really happy, I wanted it for so long and it's so beautiful and just so delicate. And I think part of when you have plants and collecting, and especially those that might be a little more, I don't wanna say rare, but not as accessible, you, well I do, take pride in caring for them and learning about their environment and what their, their needs are so that you can provide for them in the best possible way that you can in your environment. Like I said, I've got my greenhouse, so in regards to humidity, in regards to light, indirect light, but it is bright. I'll place it where my other anthuriums are because they do well in their current position. But um, that's, that's all for today. It's a quick one, I know, but here we are. I thought I would share this moment with you because it's it's like oh my goodness it's actually here and it's beautiful and um, yeah this is this really just I just feel at peace <laughs> I know it might sound really strange but um yeah I'm considering doing a greenhouse tour or just maybe like a just a showing of my Anthurium collection if you'd be interested in that let me know and I will do that I do have a plant haul coming up for you guys because I recently bought some other plants um, so they, were, they are plants from Sweden and also a plant from the Netherlands so I've got a few things to update you on but um, yeah let me know what you'd like to see next so hollow in the comments and depending on the responses we'll go from there so you know I upload every Wednesday at 5 until then see you soon take care bye